Here we go. Uh, so this is question seven, exercise uh, nine point, sorry, twenty-three point four. Write down the expression for the area a meters squared enclosed by the fence. Well, area is length multiplied by width. Length multiplied by width is x multiplied by twenty minus x. This means the answer is twenty x minus x squared. So that's the answer, twenty x minus x squared. Plot the graph of A for values between 10 and 20. Okay, between 10 and 20, go to your calculator. Mode. Uh, sorry? 0 to 20, okay? So table. So it's going from 0 to 20, and it's 20x uh, minus x squared. That's not it. Minus x squared. Uh, starts at zero, ends at twenty. Uh, suppose we go up in ones, will we? That's a lot of points. Okay, now let's look at this. We can see that it's going up and coming back down again. Okay, so who's that in their calculator save right now? Anybody have it saved? Yeah. Uh, zero zero. Yeah. Yeah. One nineteen. Okay, zero zero one nineteen. Two twenty six. Two twenty six. Two thirty six. Yeah. Uh, three fifty one. Three fifty one. So that's a thirty six. Yeah. Uh, four sixty four. Yeah. Five seventy five. Yeah. Uh, six eighty four. Yeah. Uh, seven ninety one. Yeah. Eight ninety six. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, ten one hundred. Yeah. Uh, eleven ninety nine. Yeah. Twelve ninety six. Uh, thirteen ninety six. Yeah. Twelve ninety six. Uh, so I'm just gonna need some form of order on this, don't I? I wasn't gonna be getting really confused. So eleven ninety nine, yeah. Uh, twelve ninety six. Yeah. Uh, thirteen ninety one. Yeah, it's on its way back down again the same way, isn't it? Fourteen eighty four. Yeah. Uh, fifteen seventy five. Yeah. Sixteen sixty four. Yeah. Uh, what's the next one? Seventeen fifty one. Yeah. Eighteen thirty six. Yeah. How do I know these points now, lads? Can I explain? I don't have to memorize that off by heart. How, how did I figure them all out? It's the same numbers on the way up as it is on the way down. Very common with quadratic equations. Alright guys, now here's our problem. On the bottom, we have how many points? We're going to need 20, aren't we? And the top is going to be... You have to count how many squares we have to the top to the bottom, okay? So I reckon we have 20 across, but how many do we have up? Let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh, wait, I made a mistake there, didn't I? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26. Now, 25 blocks I have there. Why is 25 a nice convenient number? I can make every one of them work for. Because my maximum number is what, guys? 100. 10, 100, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to make each one work for. So two blocks is worked, eight. So it's going to be going up in eights because you don't have to draw out every number. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, uh, 72, 80, 88, 96, and 104. Each one is worth four. Okay, that's and then on the bottom. We're going to have to go across and uh, two is, uh, just each block is worth one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 
18 and 20. Let's begin. Okay, guys. First point, 0, 0. Last point, 0, 20. What's the point after that? 236. 36 is here. 119. Oh, sorry, 119. Excuse me. 119. 119 is going to be just around here. That's going to be the same as 1919, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, what's the next one? 4. 436, isn't it? Oh, sorry, 336. Well, then this one's in the wrong place, isn't it? So it's going to be 236, which is located up here. And what other one's on 36? 1836, is it? Okay, that one there, okay. Next one, 4, or sorry, 3. In good afternoon, all teachers, please leave their hats and sticks outside the door. And secondly, given that thank you, very teaching meeting starts in the class, we'll finish at 3.45 and study will take place in the hall from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, 4 o'clock to 6 in the hall. Thank you. Okay, guys. We might just start skipping. We might just do the even numbers because at the end of the day, we're drawing a graph. We don't necessarily have to draw all 20 points. It's going to take ages, isn't it? So let's skip every two. So what's it for? What? Well, for? Anybody? 64. 464, that's an easy one, isn't it? Apologies again, and in terms of detention, detention will take place in F4 at 4 o'clock. F4, thank you. Okay, guys, 60 and 64 is up here. What, what else is there? 8 and? Oh, oh, no, I'm skipping it on purpose. Okay, 6, 80, 4, because we can't draw them all, otherwise, it's just going to be absolutely crazy, okay? So 684 guys, just give me one second there, 684 is up here, what else is on 84? 16 isn't it? Ah that's it there, I'm in the wrong space there, okay, it's meant to be 18, 18 and 36 which is there, so that spot shouldn't be there, is that what you're about to tell me? No, it's not always marked for skipping. No, because it doesn't specifically say, it just says draw the graph. Okay. Alright okay, guys, Where, what am I doing here again? Uh, that one matches that one, that one matches that one. This one looks a bit out of... This one is in sync. 16 and... What did we say about 16 and 64, yeah? It's too high. I knew it was out of sync, it just didn't look right. 16 and 64, what's the next one? 14 and... Was it? 84, that one's there. Okay, now we're making progress. What's the one after? After 8, we have the number. So, 8 what, guys? 96. Yeah. And what other one's 96? 12. Is that 12 there? Yeah, 12, 96. And finally, in between, it's going to be 10. 100. And there it is, there. We can see that we've done actually a. Uh, reasonably good job with that okay now some of you guys are worried about losing the marks there right so here's what you can do to fix that situation worse comes to worse okay just go up and dot in the ones you are missing <coughs> see what I'm doing and you can do it that way and then it looks like all the dots are in then you just go in here, then you want this one here, then you want that one there, it's done, this one here, that one, well that one's down there, and yeah, that one there. So look, there's all your dots there, okay? Alright guys, what's the next question then? <coughs> Plot the values between 0 and 20, for what values is the area 40 meters? So 40 meters, anybody? 40? Where is it? It's going to be about 17 and it's not meant to be 2, is it? It's meant to be just after 2. So you might say there's a bit of a, see the way there's a bit of an outward bend going on there? You might want to just fix that up a little. Okay, so let's try this again. So when it's less than 40, okay? So draw a line across 40, head down. 
say about 2.2, 2.1, 2.2. Call it 2.2. And what about the other one? Call it about 3 points. 3.8. Okay. Or say 17, 17, 17.7, 17.8. Okay, guys. So there's my two answers there. How would you verify those answers? You can put them in and see if they give you the answer of 40. Okay. Shh. Okay, guys. What values of x gives an enclosed area greater than 90? Greater than 90. When is it bigger than 90? Go to 90. 90 is exactly halfway between 88 and 92. So this is 90 here. Draw your lines going straight down. I'll do them in dotted lines. So we got 7 and... Where's the other one? Now it probably shouldn't be 7 on the dot. I think I made a slight error there now. Now guys, see the way the graph is, isn't... See the way we had to fit so many numbers into our graph? This means that even small errors in your line will result in big differences. There we go, there. So call it 7.1 and what's the other one? Anybody? 12.9. 7.1 and 12.9 let's say, okay? So 7.1, it starts at 7.1 and ends at 12.9 because these are the times you're bigger than. So 7.1 less than x less than 12.9. What's the maximum area the farmer can enclose? Anybody? 100 meters squared because it's the top. What are the lengths to fencing for this maximum area? What is the x value of this maximum area, guys? What's the x value? So if x equals 10, this means that's 10, and this one here is also 10, because 20 minus 10 is 10, so it's 10 and 10. So length is 10, width is 10. Okay.